Elephant is actually a guardian of baby um, with the banana, so it's something also all related. This is a place where our customer will stay for 28 days. So the cozy home food is important. In our previous episode, in collaboration with Malaysian Institute of Interior Designers, also known as MIID, we featured a project about sustainability, a project about experimental, and today's episode, we will be featuring a project about census. If you missed the previous episodes, don't worry about it. You can go through our channel and you could still find those videos there. To not miss on any of our upcoming episodes, click on that subscribe button and slam on that notification buzzer and stay in the loop for more of our future exciting episodes. Visual, smell, hearing, taste and touch. The five senses that enables a human body to understand, recognize, value, feel or even react to something. You must be thinking how these senses are related to interior design by now. Today's episode on Design Seat, we will be featuring Malaysia's first and only six-star confinement centre called The Little Precious. Hi, uh, I'm Catherine Chong. I'm the founder of uh, Ho and Yin Design Studio. I mean, this is a postnatal care. So for us babies, they are our precious and they're so little. So we name it Little Precious. For little precious, so we are trying to mix. In fact, as a designer, we always like chemistry, we like to mix a bit. You know, that's how modern industry come in, modern barnies come in. For this one, I'm trying to mix modern classical with resort. Um, it's a postnatal care centre. We want mothers to feel relaxed and enjoy their staycation there. Unfortunately, I limit by the building type. I'm in the office building. Uh, to compensate the imperfection, that's why I introduced green, you know, that's the famous green colour of Little Precious um, to give that resorty feel. I, as an architect and designer, when I design this, I actually highlight a lot of senses. So, even the baby cot, we custom made our baby cot. Um, because that is the, as our Little Precious. So, from there, uh, we actually focus a lot on the user uh, experience in terms of um, lighting, in terms of the ambient, um, the soundproof, and the smell, and of course the taste. So basically we're actually covering all of uh, the senses. Um, coming into our space, we use a lot of green, which is a very smoothing green. We didn't use a very bright green, it's a very greyish green and then with some rattan, so they give you a very resort and a relaxing feel. In terms of ambient, we design a few modes, so they're actually able to uh, on and off some lighting to give them the ambient that they wanted. We use pendant light, we use spotlights, we use indirect lighting, uh, wall lights, so all that to actually complete the whole ambient senses. As a designer, we try to maximise every space. Multi-purpose hall, we use a pivot door. This is actually a hotel standard insulated panel where we can actually unfold it and we can accommodate the bigger event, maybe full moon party. So that's actually my idea um, to actually open it up so the whole space will be bigger. When we design public spaces, we encourage social activity. So that is what I feel like designer can actually change the user patterns or encourage a certain activity. So that is why I allocate spaces for public area. I have to say it is necessary for conventional business owners to look at the evolution of modern businesses 
and realizing the impact of interior design. 30 years ago, confinement centers was merely a necessity. And 15 years ago, some looked like hospitals. And today, pioneers alike like Little Precious, a realization of necessity amalgamating with lifestyle has surfaced. Cozy and pleasant to the eye, scent that rejuvenate, calming music echoing the space, five-star food quality served, and textures of premium materials and finishes. The equation of a perfect harmony that depicts a class of its own to welcome newborns and to pamper mothers for their tender loving care. Having a new baby is already very stressful, uh, and especially if there's a first one. That's why I'm trying to change a different view. Uh, it should be a hotel servicing, but at the same time, we provide detailed and uh, professional baby service. This will help them to smoothen their anxiety and also their stress. Um, so it's like a more complete thing that we are doing. It's actually more than interior. This episode is a collaboration with Malaysian Institute of Interior Designers, also known as MIID. Led by influential interior designers all over Malaysia, the vision of the Institute is to develop a sophisticated society of designers who are conversant and appreciative of the interior design scene. If you are an interior designer practicing in Malaysia and have not enrolled yourself as a member yet, click on the description link below to find out more about being part of this aspiring community. My name is Alex Lee and I am from Design Seed. A reminder again, if you enjoyed today's episode and have not subscribed to us yet, do it now and click on that notification buzzer to stay in the loop of more of our compelling episodes. Thank you for watching.